U.S. singer Jerry Lee Lewis has died aged of 87, his publicist said. Jerry was catapulted to fame with his 1957 hit, Whole Lotus Shaken Going On, and went on to earn the nickname The Killer for his ability to knock out audiences, evening lighting his piano on fire to close out a show. Zach Farnham, publicist for Jerry, said in a statement, Lewis, perhaps the last true, great icon of the birth of rock and roll, whose marriage of blues, gospel, country, honky-tonk and raw, pounding stage performances so threatened a young Elvis Presley that it made him cry, has died. He was there at the beginning, with Elvis, Johnny Cash, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Carl Perkins, Fats Domino, Buddy Holly, and the rest, and watched them fade away one by one till it was him alone to bear witness, and sing of the birth of rock and roll. The musician suffered from various illnesses and injuries in the final years of his life, with doctors often telling him they should have taken him decades ago, Mr. Farnham said. He added that just before his death, Lewis' wife Judith said, he is ready to leave. The singer died at his home in Memphis. He was also known for his controversial private life, having married seven times, including his 13-year-old cousin when he was 23, in 1958, which damaged his career. He was a father of six but two of his children died in terrible circumstances. His three-year-old son Steve drowned in a pool in 1962, and 19-year-old Jerry Lee Lewis Jr. died in the 1970s, after a jeep he was driving overturned. The rock and roll icon taught himself how to play the piano at a young age and was just 14 years old when he performed in public for the first time. The singer made his first recording in 1956 at Sun Records in Memphis. His first big break came two years later with Whole Lotus Shaken Going On. The song became an instant hit, propelling Jerry to fame worldwide. He followed with Great Balls of Fire, Breathless, and High School Confidential. Throughout the 60s and 70s he turned his hand more towards country music, though he did not leave the wild world of rock and roll behind completely. Even until relatively recently, the lifelong musician and singer continued to record new music and perform around the world. Lewis enlisted the help of such famous admirers as Sir Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson and Buddy Guy for his 2006 album Last Man Standing. In 2014, Lewis kicked off his 80th birthday tour with shows across the country, from California to Tennessee to New York, as well as shows in Europe. The same year he released a biography with Pulitzer Prize winning author Rick Bragg, titled, Jerry Lee Lewis, His Own Story. At the time, he told Rolling Stone magazine, this is a rock and roll record. That's just the way it came out. He once said of his career, I just think it's a blessing from God that I'm still living. And I'm still rocking. He is survived by his wife Judith. Earlier this week it was reported that Lewis had died by site TMZ. But the site then retracted the article, and said they regretted the error. Fans rushed to pay tribute after the news of his death was confirmed by Lewis publicist this evening. One fan said, rest in peace killer. For anyone who saw Jerry Lee Lewis live, it was an experience. And there was a whole load of shaking going on. Another wrote, Rip Jerry Lee Lewis One of the most iconic singers of all time Has right up there with Elvis, Michael, Haggerty, Chuck Berry Paying tribute to Jerry Lee Lewis, the Country Music Association tweeted, 
It is with great sadness we've learned about the passing of Jerry Lee Lewis, who was just inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame this month. We extend our heartfelt condolences to his family and loved ones during this difficult time. 